Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. Willie is 12 years older than his sister. Next year, he will be twice as old as his sister. How old is Willie now? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need help in learning mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, just in case you didn't understand the question. So Willie, right now, okay, currently, Willie is 12 years older than his sister. Next year, he will be twice as old as his sister. How old is really Willie, excuse me, right now? Okay, so that is the question. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Willie currently is 23 years old. All right, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of solving algebra age word problems. And that's what we have here. This is a very classic, typical typical type of uh, problem you will see in any algebra course. And of course, we are dealing with age. And um, this problem, again, uh, I say typical and common because certainly if you um, are going to take any sort of math class that involves algebra, you will run into problems just like this. But the good news is once you know how to solve one uh, type of these problems. In other words, once you, for example, let's say this problem, if you are taking an algebra course, once you understand how this problem is solved, you will pretty much be able to handle all different types of age word problems. But let's go ahead and get started here. And first things first, first we have a uh, math word problem. Now notice I didn't say that this is an algebra word problem because I didn't want to scare anybody away by saying, oh no, we're going to be using algebra. This is so scary. Well, no, I mean, algebra is such a powerful tool. And a lot of you could probably just have, um, you know, reasoned through this or kind of uh, used a trial and uh, uh, kind of trial method, just tested this different numbers and different ages until you kind of figure this out. And if you solve uh, the problem in that manner, that is fantastic. That's why initially, again, I didn't say, hey, use algebra. You know, there's different ways you can solve a math word problem, but algebra is such a great tool. It just makes things so much easier. But uh, for any problem, we always need to understand what's going on. That's why I always like to uh, suggest that you use the rule of three. Now, the rule of three is to read the problem at least three times before you start to kind of, you know, take a particular path or a strategy. All right, so this problem could be a bit confusing uh, because we're talking about two different time frames. We're talking about current time frame right now, and then we're also talking about next year. So we need a good way to kind of model this problem. So again, uh, I'm going to show you uh, a method that you can solve all types of age word problems. So what we're going to do here is uh, use a variable. Okay, now we're going to be using a variable to represent the sister's age right now. Now you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, boy, you just kind of jumped right into it. You're not really giving me... Um, you know, a way to kind of, you know, assimilate what's going on or model the problem. Well, I'm going to use a table to explain this. And once you understand, again, how this uh, particular problem is solved, you'll be able to understand how to solve problems similar to this. Uh, and, of course, uh, a table, okay, is used not only in age where problems in algebra, uh, but other type of problems as well. All right, so this is going to be a great way to organize all the information in the problem so we can kind of see and visualize what's going on. But we need a variable, and we're going to let x equal the sister's age now. 
Now, some of you might be saying, well, why don't you let X equals uh, Willie's age right now? Because that's what we're trying to answer. Well, you'll see why here in a second. So let's go ahead and get into this table, okay? So we have two time frames. We have the current age. Age right now, we have two people, okay? So we want a column. So the sister and Willie. And then we have the age next year. So that's going to be one uh, additional year. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, let's let X equal the sister's age now. So we have an X right here. So if the sister is X years old and Willie is currently 12 years older than his sister, his current age will be 12, um, X plus 12. Okay, so the sister's age right now is X and Willie's uh, 12 years older. So his current age is X plus 12. Okay, now how about next year? Well, next year, the sister is going to be one year older. So that would be X plus one, right? So we're going to be adding one year. And of course, um, let's just be uh, very clear about something. We're going to let X equal the sister's age now in years, just in case that wasn't totally clear. All right, so how about uh, Willie? Next year, he'll he's going to be what? Well, he's currently X plus 12. So next year, next year he'll be X plus 12 plus 1. All right, so this is uh, the age is organized by this table. But we need a way to build an equation because we can't solve for these variables or this variable X here without building an equation. And that's where we're going to use the rest of uh, the word problem, okay, the information of the problem, and specifically we're going to be using this part right here. Next year, he will be twice as old as his sister. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that part. So next year, Willie will be twice as old as his sister. So we have to be very clear that we don't confuse this. So Willie, okay, next year, okay, whatever the sister's age is, he's going to be twice that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the ages as defined by our table, okay, because so, we have Willie's next year uh, age, okay? We also have the sister's next year age. So we can build an equation using this statement right here. So next year, Willie will be twice as old as his sister. So let's go ahead and uh, build this equation right now. Okay, so what's the sister's age next year? Well, the uh, sister's age right now is X, so her age next year will be X plus 1. So if he's going to be twice the sister's age next year, that's going to be 2 times X plus 1. Okay. But what's Willie's age going to be next year? Well, he's currently X plus 12 right now, so next year he will be X plus 12 plus 1. So right here, we have a lovely equation. Okay. So again... You know, once you know how to solve one type of algebra word problem, you typically know how to solve, um, you know, different types of algebra word problems. But here's the key. You can't uh, solve this uh, problem right here unless you know how to solve equations. All right, so that's the next step. We have x plus 12 plus 1 is equal to 2 times x plus 1. If we can solve for x, we will have uh, found the sister's age right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that step, which of course I am talking about you subscribing to my YouTube channel. I need your support. I wouldn't interrupt this fun little math video unless it was that important. Now, of course, it's important to me, but it's important for me to reach as many people as possible uh, so I can help them in mathematics. Now, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over 2,000 plus videos, and uh, you know that's great, okay? It's great for me. But really, what I'm trying to do is reach people that look like this. They're like, I don't understand algebra. I hate algebra. My teacher doesn't explain this, et cetera, et cetera. And if they watch this video and be like, oh, okay, I understand. Now I get it. Thank you, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, that means the world to me. But I can't reach more people unless YouTube says, you know what? This guy seems to be doing okay because people are subscribing to his channel. So if you want to support my work, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and go ahead and, and hit that notification button as well, uh, you know, because that way you'll get my latest content. And that's the whole idea behind subscribing. All right. Now let's go ahead and continue on with the problem. And at this stage, what we need to do is focus on how to solve this equation. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and run through the steps here. So we have x plus 12 plus 1. So we'll add the 12 and 1. So that'll be x plus 13. 
And then we have 2 times x plus 1. We'll go ahead and use the distributive property. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 1 is 2. So at this point, what we want to do is go ahead and we'll go ahead and just subtract um, x, this x right here from both sides of the equation. And that's going to give us 13 is equal to 2x minus x, which of course is 1x plus 2. Now I can simply subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. So I got 13 minus 2, which is 11. So x is equal to 11. All right, now if you are having a tough time with anything that I'm doing right now, I'm going to highly suggest that you check out my um, full Algebra 1 course. Okay, you'll find a link to it in the description of this video. Now that's if you are a uh, an Algebra student and you're taking a your first year Algebra course. Now if you happen to be taking a second year Algebra course, check out my Algebra 2 uh, course. Both of those courses would have uh, problems like this. Potentially pre-algebra courses could have problems or problems like this. I'll leave a link to that course as well. By the way, if you just want to learn math, you're like, you know, I just, you know, I'm not taking any math course, but I'm just interested in learning mathematics. Check out my new course. It's called Math Skills Rebuilder. Uh, in that course, I start with basic math and I teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, even some basic trigonometry and some probability and statistics. So you'll definitely uh, learn a lot of what I'm talking about right now. But again, if you're having trouble following me solving this equation, you know, you need to kind of work on your algebra skills. OK, so X is equal to 11. So what does that mean? Well, X is 11. Remember, we assign the variable X to represent the sister's age now. Okay, so the question is, how old is Willie right now? All right, so Willie's age right now is going to be x, okay, which is 11 plus 12, right? So Willie is x plus 12, so this would be 11 plus 12, which makes him 23. All right, now let's go ahead and see if this makes sense. Okay, so right now, uh, Willie would be 23 years old. That's what we're saying. All right, so okay, let's see if this is right. So X was 11. Remember, X was 11. That's the sister's age now. So right now, Willie's 23, and his sister is 11. Now, next year, the sister is going to go from 11 to 12 years old, and Willie's going to go from 23 to 24 years old. Now, is Willie twice as old as his sister next year? Well, indeed, he is. So this all works out in the end. Okay, so as I indicated... You know, uh, when it comes to algebra word problems, really the main idea is, first of all, you got you have to have the skills like solving equations, understanding um, what a variable is. Uh, but when it comes to different types of word problems, algebra word problems, and a we're talking about age word problems or mixture word problems or motion word problems. These are very classic common type of problems. So what you need to do is practice this stuff. You need to see a wide variety of problems. You just can't do one problem and be like, okay, I can solve all different types. No, you know, learning algebra and solving, uh, you know, algebra word problems takes time. It takes effort. So don't get discouraged, all right? You got to put in the work, but what you really need is that instruction. So that's where I can really help you out. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.